Welcome to the webinar on Optimizer Assistant. My name is George Mock and I'll be your guide. You don't need much background to understand this webinar, but it is good to know where Optimizer Assistant fits in the grand scheme of things. For those of you new to TI Embedded Software and Tools ecosystem, this is an area where TI has invested heavily over the years. The ecosystem is comprised of runtime software, including real-time operating systems like TI RTOS, embedded Linux, and a multitude of software packages. There are development tools, including CoComposer Studio Integrated Development Environment, JTAG emulators, and development boards such as launch pads and evaluation modules. On top of this, there is a rich community providing expertise, turnkey solutions, product support, and training. Optimizer Assistant is one of the many features available in the Code Composer Studio, also called CCS, Integrated Development Environment. So of course, when you're building your system, you want to try and find that sweet spot where the system just barely fits in the memory you bought, runs really fast, responds to your user input very quickly, and the battery will last, well, you know, almost forever. Of course, the best way to get this uh, sweet spot is to use dash dash, the perfect compiler option. Oh, wait a second, there isn't an option like that. That's right. The best way to actually get to that sweet spot in real life is to experiment with the compiler options that you do have. You know, pick different options, pick different settings for those options, things like that. The uh, common response to that is to say, well, that, that's kind of hard. That's error prone, things like this. Well, hold on a second. You haven't seen the Optimizer Assistant. All right, now it's time to stop talking about Optimizer Assistant, and let's get a look at this thing. What you're looking at right now is the Code Composer Studio Integrated Development Environment. I already have a project loaded right here, and it's building clean. You can see by looking at that. So that's our starting point. I want to draw your attention over here to the Problems and Advice view. Click on the Advice tab, expand the entries, You'll see there's some entries here, and trust me when I tell you this one's all about, hey, you're not really doing the right thing with regard to speed versus size trade-off. Why don't you double-click here and get Optimizer Assistant going. So here it is. This is what it looks like to start it, and just like I said before, this is all about trading off. Well, I'm sorry. It's all about experimenting with compiler options. I was getting ahead of myself there. Uh, this particular option is the trade-off between speed versus size. You can also play with the optimization level. Okay. All right. So now that we have Optimizer Assistant configured to uh, experiment with the option that trades off speed versus size, we click Start to get it going. So there it is. It's uh, experimenting for you. What's really going on here is Optimizer Assistant is rebuilding this project uh, over and over again, one, one time each for each possible setting of this option. And in this case, it's a number uh, it's six total rebuilds. Uh, it takes a few minutes, so we're going to pause the recording here and let this thing complete. Okay, now Optimizer Assistant has completed its job of experimenting with this one option, and now we're looking at the results of the experiment. The numbers on the left are the different uh, settings for the uh, op for speed option. That's the option that trades off speed versus size. And these numbers on the right are the amount of flash memory that was required for each of those build options. Uh, another cool thing you can do is you can hover over one of the rows and that'll give you the opportunity to do one of two things with like this particular setting here. I can I can apply it to the project, I can change the build settings of the project to be in this case out for speed set it to two or I can say hey you know what I want to load this program up into the system I want to get it running I want to see power consumption and things like that all you can do is click right there. Now recall I said you could experiment with uh, another compiler option, the one regarding optimization. And I'd like to show you just how easy that is. You click on this icon here called well, Start Analysis. And you can change this right here to Optimization and Start. And away you go. It's that easy. Of course, it takes a while to do the rebuild for each setting of the option, but it's all automatic. There's not a whole lot to it. 
And now we're looking at the results from experimenting with the optimization level. And it's quite similar to what you saw before. These are the different optimization levels. And then the numbers on the right are how much flash memory was required for each one of those. And just like before, you can hover over one and decide to either change the project settings or go ahead and load that guy up and start running it and see what you got. Now that you know how cool Optimizer Assistant is, I'm sure you want to know how you can use it yourself. For that, visit the homepage for Optimizer Assistant on the TI Wiki. Here is the web address. Or an internet search for Optimizer Assistant will probably work too. Thank you for taking the time to tune in this webinar on Optimizer Assistant.